can do so many wrong things, but he doesn't lie. He does not lie. Muslim does not lie. So he gives a beautiful example of this thing, subhanAllah, that this is the only act which is Muslim, don't do this thing. Either they don't lie or they don't cheat. They don't do that. They don't do the something which hurts somebody because they are half. Ummah the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa So they have a half. What does that mean? Most of have was talking about you know, They have a reality in their heart. This dunya is very uncertain. It will be finished one day. So they know the reality of the dunya through their ilm, number one. Through their, when they, in the dunya, we have ilm. When the person goes to the cover, what do you say? Anul yaqeen. Now he has the yaqeen. Subhanallah. Now you can say it. Subhanallah. At the third stage, and the akhara, haqqul yaqeen. The Sahaba have all these three qualities in this dunya. So they have a khawf. They don't want to do anything, something which is hurt. Allah, I mean, uh, angry. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and hurt the man. Because Allah said very clearly, you are the best people on this earth, subhanahu wa So one incident that dealing, don't take advantage from the person who is in need of this thing. So there was an incident with the Jareed ibn Abdullah, he was a like a, one of the son of the king, subhanAllah. So he wanted to buy the horse. So he told his worker, go get the horse. So they bought the horse. Said, how much is he? He asked the owner. He said, 300. He said, how about if I give you 400? He said, that's nice. How about if I give you 500? He said, go to the 800. He said, Sheikh, you want to buy? Or you just keep talking to me? He said, no, I'm going to buy that. I know the value of this horse. This is 800, not 300. So he told the worker, so give him 800. He was surprised. Why? Don't take advantage. It's called cheating and giving this, you know, the hurting, the damaging the person who is in need to take this thing. So we have to be careful about these things in the what we talk about, subhanAllah. And if we talk about, the, about this, you know, telling the truth. This is the quality, the incident that uh, one of the, the Sahabi, Tabi'in, uh, Ibn Khrash Rahmatullah, he was in a town, subhanAllah, due to the time of Hajjaj bin Yusuf. So that, and then this Buzul, this is scholar from the Kufa, he was in a town. So Hajjaj bin Yusuf found out he's here, so he called him. <coughs> Take him, have a food with him. He said, let me ask you one thing. Your children driving me crazy, you're giving me such a hard time. What are they? He said, Alhamdulillah, I heard from Rasulullah Muslim does not lie. So he said, they are at home. They are at home. Very easy to catch and slaughter them. Do something. He said, he said, oh, even Kharash, you tell the truth, I have a respect for you. Who put in his heart the respect? Allah. When you tell the truth, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, one put in the heart, subhanAllah, respect, subhanAllah. He said, if you would tell me the lie, you and the children will be slaughtered by me, subhanAllah. So he respect, because you're telling the truth, subhanAllah. So my humble request is, yeah. The Malana Sabash yesterday, please, this Jamaat came. Every month, you know, that we go three days here, there, something like that, remind him. Just nothing but the remind. We are living this life, you know, that's fine. Live the life as Ummah Rasulullah, sallallahu Not as a life of a people. No, everybody living in people, subhanAllah. But you should be these three things. Last thing I remind you, Sumer. these three things you must have inside of you, Sumer. Your person of law. You are such a stupid people. Jazakallah khair, you call it correct to me. Have some coffee. You know, I'm calling you stupid, you give me the coffee. <laughs> because you love them. They have a problem, you don't have the problem. Number one. Number two, keep your ma'amlaat correct, sahih. Don't cheat. Did Islam is spread through your ma'amla, your dealing, and your haflaq, and how you live in the community. So this thing, it reflects the people so around, around, around it. So why look so you different? Because we are Ummah Rasulullah and we are Muslim. Don't say that, they know that, you know, that way you look different, you talk different. And why are you giving me extra profit? Because my Prophet said so. Do the business, give extra. Why are you doing it? Dunya, this dunya, non-Muslim living for the dunya. Give them a dunya, subhanAllah. Why?
so they will come close to you and they put in their heart Allah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq to act upon it inshallah. So we are here, you know, the last night we came, today, tomorrow, and Sunday. So we humbly request you, the brother, please join this thing. This masjid must be, you see now how many people are there? In a few minutes more, more we will come. It will be there around here somewhere. Maybe business or something. So that must be full all the time. Not only the Friday. The, the Christian goes Sunday, Jews go Saturday, we come on Friday. So what's the difference? No, 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 no. Our masjid will be full all five times, not only Friday. So we must humbly request you, uh, request you to all of you, subhanAllah, please, join this thing. And we go around and remind the people. Remind makes a big difference, subhanAllah. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.